Hey, it's Ashley. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make four DIY Christmas tree ornaments from items that you can pick up at Walmart and the Dollar Tree. The first ornament we are going to make is a snowflake ornament. I picked up these wood planks from the Dollar Tree. These things are awesome because we're going to cut them into three separate sections and it comes with five planks so you could definitely make a lot of ornaments with these. Now what I did is I just took a pencil and I eyeballed it to where I could took uh, cut these into three different sections and I used a ruler to make straight lines. Here I'm just taking my craft cutting tool and I'm going to start scoring the lines. Now if you have like a miter saw or a hand saw or something like that, you could definitely use that. I don't have any on hand so craft tool it is and this thing actually works out great if you have one of these. So I just had to score it quite a few times and once it got to where it would almost snap. Now I didn't want to snap it because I didn't want the, the wood to like shred. But when, when it got to where it would almost snap, I just took a pair of really sharp scissors and I cut the rest of it. And you'll see me do that here in just a second. Once the planks were cut, I went in with some 220 grit sandpaper to go over the edges and the corners just to smooth everything out. Then I took the wood planks outside to stain them. The stain that I'm using is Rust-Oleum and Dark Walnut. I love Dark Walnut, it is so pretty. It's my favorite stain color. But if you're like me and you don't have any gloves to stain with, pick you up some Goo Gone because it will get the stain off of your hands. So immediately after staining something without gloves on, grab your Goo Gone and wash your hands with it. It'll get the stain out from underneath of your fingernails, like around your cuticles and stuff, because that's where it tends to get stuck. It makes you look super dirty. And stain is also sticky, so this, the uh, Goo Gone will help get that stickiness off of, it, off of you. But I just went out, I used a foam brush. A foam brush is the best way to stain something. And I stained both sides of it, and then I took a paper towel and I wiped off the excess, and I left these outside to dry. Chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you ready. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. While the planks are drying, I want to take these snowflake stickers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now, they're called stickers, but really all they have is this little sticky dot that'll actually stay on that plastic piece whenever you pull the snow snowflakes off. I think that's hilarious. But I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white, and I'm going to give these a coat of white paint. Now, when I went around the edges, I didn't go for like full coverage. I kind of, because the edges are like a darker brown. So I kind of left those. I thought it looked a little bit rustic. And so I, I just kind of went around the edges lightly and then I did a full coat on the front of them and I did that to all three. Christmas. We're 
gonna dance. We're gonna okay. dance. Now that everything is dry, it is time to assemble our little snowflake ornament. And I have this jute string here that I picked up at Walmart. You can get this at Walmart, you can get it at Amazon. I've heard people say that it's also at Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree doesn't personally have it, but you may check yours, they may have it. Now they did have nautical rope, and so you could also get nautical rope and use that if you wanted to, but I just have jute string, and here I'm just gonna cut down three pieces of it to make a loop so we can hang up our little snowflake ornaments on our tree. And now we're going to take some hot glue and we're going to glue the snowflakes to the front. Now the first time I did this my hot glue gun was not hot enough and that snowflake popped right back off of there. So I had to let my hot glue gun heat up for a little while longer and then I was able to hot glue the snowflake down and they stay great. They're still on there now. So just make sure that your hot glue gun is nice and hot. That way everything will adhere well together. To glue the jute string down, I first laid down a little strip of hot glue and then I put the jute string down on top of it and then I put more hot glue on top of that just to make sure that this isn't going anywhere. It's not going to fall off whenever I'm decorating my tree because you all know you start to put your, your ornaments on there, especially if you're using ornaments with string and you kind of have to fight with the branches a little bit. So I put a little extra glue, make sure your glue gun is nice and hot, add a little extra glue and this thing is not going anywhere. Here's how the snowflake ornaments turned out. I think they look so stinking cute. I'm thinking about going back and making some more using those wood planks. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like to see some more ornaments with those wood planks. The second ornament we are going to make is a bead ornament and I picked up this mega pack of beads from Walmart. I will have some from Amazon linked down below that I recently ordered. Now I chose the beads that I wanted by size and the size that I wanted is super colorful and I don't need colorful beads for this project so I am going to spray paint them but first I ended up making a makeshift spray box out of an old cereal box that we had and I'm just going to put the beads in there and then I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte White Spray Paint that I picked up from Walmart and I'm going to give these beads a couple of coats. Now I'll be honest. The beads took a lot more paint than I thought they did and I got very impatient. So a quick tip is to let them fully dry in between each coat. But once you spray paint them once, let them dry. Don't be impatient. And then you can just take the box and move the beads around and give them another coat. Let that dry and continue that process until they are fully covered. And then from there, we're just going to take that jute string that we used earlier. We have the beads and I'm going to string seven beads for each ornament. Now you can do as many as you want. You could honestly paint these any color you want. They don't have to be white. You could paint some of them white. You could do some red. You could make some of them black or green. Um, you know, it depends on whatever colors that you are doing for Christmas. You could also take those wooden beads and stain them. I think that would be really cute. Especially if you stained them and then you also had some of the white ones in there. That would look super cute together. But I did seven beads and I took the end of that jute string and I put a piece of tape around it just so it's easier to string through the beads.
So I ended up stringing all 14 of them on there and then I separated them out. I cut the jute string and then I tied a knot at the bottom, kind of like you would tie your shoe strings, like into a double knot. So I tied a knot at the bottom so the beads wouldn't fall off and then I went back and I started to do the same process at the top. Now the top took me just a minute to figure out because I was trying to make a loop because obviously we need to hang it up. But I just kind of looped it around and I tied it, like I said, just like you would whenever you're tying your shoes. Something from the chimney. I will keep you warm as soon as you Here's how the beads turned out. And if you don't want the little chips of paint like I had, seriously let those dry in between coats fully. Don't be impatient. Now the third ornament that we are going to make is a jingle bell ornament. And you guys, this one is my absolute favorite. I am definitely making way more of these. So I moved the, the cutting mat because we are going to be staining stuff in the house. And I did happen to find one glove. Thank goodness. So I have one glove to protect one of my hands. Um, so these jingle bells... These little wooden jingle bells, I picked those up at Dollar Tree and they come with five in a pack and I'm definitely going to make some more of these. And I'm going to use that same dark walnut stain with that sponge brush and we are going to stain both sides of these little jingle bells. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time so I ended up creating one of these off camera just to make sure that I could get everything the way I wanted to so I could show you guys this process and make it a little faster because it did take me a hot minute to figure out how to tie everything. I have not tied bows in a very long time. So I have these jingle bells that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $6.99 and I got them 50% off. And then I have this hemp. Now I like hemp way better than I do the jute string because it's not as messy. And I picked this up at Walmart, but I will link some from Amazon down below for you. Then I have this yarn that I picked up from Walmart and I have the beads that we painted earlier. So the cool thing about painting those beads is you're gonna have a lot of them. You can make a lot of the bead ornaments, but you can also add them to other ornaments. So we have the beads. And the way that I decided to do the pattern was to have two beads and then a bell and then another bead. But you can totally do this however you want. But first, I strung the beads and the bell to the hemp. And then we're going to loop the hemp together. And I'm going to stick it through the little hole that's on the wooden bell. Now, if you cut the hemp at an angle, it'll string through a lot easier because you are stringing two, like two pieces of it together. But once I strung it through, I tied the top just like you would double knot your shoes. I kept it super simple. And if you wanted to, you see how on the one I created, you can see the knot at the top. That personally doesn't bother me, but if that bugs you, you can definitely rotate, like pull the string through and move your beads and your bell around. That way you can't see the knot. It would be lined up at the back. Nobody would be the wiser.
If I took two pieces of yarn to make the bow, I cut them both at the same length. Quick tip, cut these way longer than you think you're gonna need to. I definitely should have cut them a little bit longer just for tying purposes, but we're gonna tie these the same way you would do the loops on your shoes whenever you're tying your shoes. I keep things super simple. If you wanna make a fancy bow, go for it. I'm not very good at making fancy bows. I can tie my shoes and that's what we're doing here. So I just made the two like little bunny ears. I tied them together, pull them really tight, and then the cool thing is, is you can go back and kind of adjust it a little bit. So you can pull the loops up to get them where you want them. You can pull the strings down at the bottom to make the loops the same size. You can cut the bottom of them if you want the strings to be the same length. That's entirely up to you. But just make some bows. You can also use ribbon for this if you wanted to. It's totally up to you, personal preference. And so then I'm going to take some hot glue. And I'm actually going to glue down one of the beads because I didn't want it to be all over the place. The jingle bell will still jing, so don't worry about that. I'm only gluing down one of the beads. And then I'm going to take the hot glue and we're going to glue down the bow. And here's how the Jingle Bell ornaments turned out. Oh my gosh, I love these so stinking much. I am definitely going to make more. These are so, so pretty. Now the next ornament we are gonna make is a tr Christmas tree ornament. If I was to do this again, I would do it a little bit differently. I would take some stain and stain the trees and then take some white chalk paint to outline the edges. That'll all make sense here in just a minute. But the way that I did this this time, I took that same Waverly chalk paint and white that we used earlier and I painted both sides and the sides of these Christmas trees. One thing. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind may all your wishes tonight come true the love i live the dream i know this christmas i only want to be close to you I only did three out of the five. I wanna save the other two trees for a different project. But now I'm gonna just take a black Sharpie marker and we are going to outline the star and the Christmas tree. And you will see that I messed this up pretty bad on the first time. Not bad, but I messed up the star and the top of the tree. The second time I was a little better and by the third time I finally had it figured out. And I will go back in with paint and fix this because it will drive me bananas that it's that messed up. But anyways, I just went through with a Sharpie and I outlined the tree. It's a magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow So now we're going to write joy, holly, and believe on these trees with the sharpie, but I totally messed up here. I did not start with my center letter of the word. Do as I say here, people. Don't do as I do because it's going to be totally crooked. It's going to be off center. Start with your center letter and then work your way outwards. Let's go outside. We can Here, I pulled the paint back out to fix the top of the star and the tree on the believe one. That was all I was going to fix because initially I wasn't going to go over the word joy and holly. 
but it started to drive me bananas. So here in just a little bit, you're gonna see me pull the paint back out and I will fix those. I don't like them not being off-centered. So initially I was gonna use some of that hemp to make the loops to hang these, but I changed my mind and I pulled out some red yarn that I had. I picked this up whenever I picked up the white yarn and I will link some options down below for you. So I pulled the red yarn. I really like it because it's just, it like pops with that black and that white and then that pop of red. I really like the way it turned out. So I took the red yarn, I cut it, and I'm just making a loop. And again, we're gonna tie this the same way that we've been tying this whole entire video, and that's like tying your shoes. Just make a knot, and then you can pull your string around to where you can't even see the knot. After doing the second coat on top of that star, I decided to go ahead and fix Joy and Holly. I couldn't take it anymore. Um, but I know you're not gonna have to do this step because you're gonna listen to me and you're not even gonna make that same exact mistake that I made because you're awesome. Um, that did take me like four or five coats to completely cover up that black permanent marker. But once I got it covered up, I went back in with the marker. I started with the center letter and I did this the correct way, so everything is centered. And this is how the Christmas tree ornaments turned out. Again, I would do this next time with some stain and some white chalk paint. I think that those two colors would contrast really well, but I do love the way that these turned out. And that is the four DIY Christmas ornaments. I think these turned out so stinking cute. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Which ones did you like? Would you do anything differently? And then also let me know if you like this kind of videos and I will continue to make them because I love crafting. I love DIYing. I think it's super fun. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. I hope you have an incredible day and I will see you in the next one.